This is completely stupid. The show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who has supposedly stolen this guy's phone. Now, we don't know any of the context prior to this clip or after the clip. I have no idea how the hell she got his phone in the first place, but here are the events from that point anyway. Phone back, please. You do not have the right to have my phone with you. That's our property. I'm asking for it back. Now you're violating our rights. That's our property that you're having a hold of. Give me the phone back. You know you don't have the right to do that. This is actually technically theft under $5,000. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm taking a photo. I have the right to. Yeah, I have the right to. I have the right to record everything that's happening right now. And you do not have the right to have a property with you. No, I don't have a serious problem. For what, though, I said? I don't say I'm not going to waste my time. Yes or no? Give my phone back right now. Do you want to see a doctor? Yes or Give no? Give me the I don't want to see the doctor today with you guys. No, I don't. No. I you don't. Give me the phone then. When you go, I, I will give you your phone. No, you give me the phone, then we leave. How can we leave without the phone? And the door. You want some problem? You will have. You <coughs> have the problem now. Oh. I'll just go grab the phone. Yeah. Oh, whoa, you're attacking me. Oh, that's assault. That is assault. Oh, look. So this lady just waved her hand at me. That is assault. That is assault. Right there. That is assault. That is assault. Give me the phone. And I won't press charges. If you don't give me the phone. I'm honestly curious on what's actually happened here because obviously there's something that's happened beforehand that required that phone to be in her hand in the first place. And I don't think we'll ever get to know the proper context to it. You may know the context to it. Let me know in the comments down below. But either way, I suppose we shall move on to the next clip. In this next clip, we have a Kevin recording themselves being just a massive nuisance to a business, effectively. You can't help me without a mask. Even though the order, the declaration by a Queen Jezebel herself clearly says there is room for medical exemptions. Oh yeah, you are. You're saying I, I can't be in here. That's what you're saying. You're saying I cannot be in this public space without a face diaper on. That's what you're saying. Even though it's clear. We are following the rules. I'm following the rules. You can't serve me without a diaper on my face. Is that what you're saying? Not a diaper. It's got to be a mask. It can't be a cloth. A face covering. An effective face covering. What's effective? Yours looks like a tie dye. Yours looks like some thing on a ghost. His is camouflaged. Shall we keep on going here? What are you what are you guys afraid of? Why do you wear it? Are you afraid of something or does it a what? Five times? Why don't we go over a hundred times? When are you going to start using that brain inside of your head? Yes, that's in the order. You can trespass me because that's your everybody's end around on this. Why would I want to do that when I'm standing right here? We would have been done already. And I don't need one on. And I don't. Well, clearly Jimmy John's in Rochester, Minnesota does not need any more damn business. We'll make sure of that. <laughs> the what? The best what? Do we have the best hospital? You mean in Mayo Clinic? Oh, dear God. What? I'm not interested in your opinion. That's an opinion. Best hospital in the world, Mayo Clinic. 
Just leave. That's what it's come to. Yeah. Well, I hope you all are proud of yourselves. I hope you die a thousand deaths a day because that's what's going on. Have a good day. I will now that I'm leaving. I tell you what, I'd like to swear right now, but I'm trying to keep it decent. This is what it's come to in Rochester, Minnesota, the town with the guy said the best hospital in the world. So, Jimmy John's no more gets our business. So, just wanted to show you all what we're dealing with here, again, in Queen Jezebel's land of tyranny. So, everybody have a good day. Talk to you later. Now, at first I thought this guy wasn't able to actually wear a mask, hence the reason why he mentions the medical exemption at the start of it, but at the same time, as we get further and further in the clip, it just seems like he's very anti-mask. So overall, uh, this was kind of just a bit of a useless recording. <laughs> Oh god. In this next clip, we've just got a very funny religious Karen. There's, there's nothing more to it. She's a funny religious Karen. Post me. Post me. Oh, I stand with the Lord. We stand I've been waiting for this day. You guys over there with your little symbolism with the little boy. You mean this? Boy you mean this school? The poster, doing his little devil. I think this is an elementary school, lady. Oh yeah, it is a school. It starts in the school. Yeah, that's the sign of the devil. Yeah, they're all Welcome good. to TikTok, Missy. Yeah, put me on TikTok. Have a field day. I have a voice. I have something to say. And there's a lot of people that want to hear me. I do. Oh, yeah. You ought to. Yeah. Shit, that was yeah, awesome. Don't worry. You see what I mean? It's just some funny religious Karen just being funny. There's really nothing more to this clip, honestly. In this next clip, we seem to have a Karen that is completely losing her mind over a 50 cents payment for a milk drink. Oh, and then I guess a few apparent problems in the hotel post that. Are you the manager? No, the manager is not in until the morning. Okay, so I'd like you to write down our conversation right now and give me a copy of it signed with your name. I do apologize, but I'm not going to do that. I expressed to you that you would have to talk to the manager in the morning. So, but I, I understand. And, and it is, ma'am, you can go ahead. Down. No, ma'am, I cannot. Um, you can go ahead and. We are going to so freaking blow you away in your valuations. It's 50 goddamn cents. Okay, and I understand your frustration, but everything that is over there is for purchase. The milk is not free after breakfast. I you do apologize, ma'am. There are specific for like five times. Out of eight days, ma'am. There's specific, ma'am. There's specific times of when they do breakfast. It's if you do not come within, ma'am. You ma also said you would have a kitchen with two burners that worked, and you didn't. And I under, like I said, I understand your frustration, but you would have to talk to the manager. You are a grown adult. Keep and I am follow the the, following the policy of, of our establishment. This is still a business. And I do apologize your, your frustration. has an opportunity to make us not blow you away with two okay. cents. You I understand your frustration. We were just However, you will meet. And say it's a hard time and people are frustrated. We were just going to leave the fact that we didn't, our, hot, our sink, our kitchen sink, hasn't had hot water our whole Day. That's not true, ma'am. We called and asked. Okay, you, and I was the one that called yesterday, um, and, and I explained to you that no the hot water, water or the water was sink. off for 30 minutes to an hour for a repair no, no, that was being done no, yesterday. Doesn't have heat. Okay, and so ma'am, this is the first heat. time that you're bringing that to anyone's we attention. We called on the first day. And okay, and they would have sent maintenance up to deal with and that. And it didn't get done. We, and I we, apologize that that was the circumstances, but I can only, ma'am, I cannot. There's a whole bunch of ship service here that we were just going to let it go. We were going to be Okay, pleasant. and I understand we your frustration, you, but again. We give you a goddamn chance. Okay, you're not going to speak to me like that. <laughs> I understand cents. your frustration, but you will be speaking to the manager about this in the morning. I cannot I assist you in that. I already explained that to you. My name you is Ashley. Write it down for me. I've already told On you my name. A piece of paper. Ma'am. I don't have paper. Okay, and I don't need to write it down for you. My name is Ashley. I'll also be making a report to let the manager know, and you can talk to her in the morning. Seriously. 
No. You're not going to take my picture. <laughs> okay. We are going up. But ma'am, like I explained to you. Ma'am, I explained to you. I totally understand your frustration, but there's nothing that I can do. I'm following following the policy Pay of our hotel. No, I'm not. And I explained to you, you can talk to the manager in the morning. We are not here in the morning. Frustration, but there's nothing that I can do. I'm following following the policy Pay of our hotel. No, I'm not. And I explained to you, you can talk to the manager in the morning. We are not here in the morning. Okay, but you can in call morning. and speak to her, and she will be happy to At address the, the morning. Morning. situation. At four in the morning. If you're leaving that early, she will be Call in the office by then. six. I want to talk to her now. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I cannot do that. You'll let us call you can at four in the morning she, when we're leaving. She will be in the office tomorrow. But not now. Because I cannot do that. She is not here. That doesn't make any sense. She's going to be here in the office at She will be in the morning. morning. She will be here by 6 a.m. And I apologize. Oh, okay, and I heard you, and I totally understand that. But she is not in the office until 6 a.m. <laughs> so then you are the one here who knows how to solve And I cannot do anything to your account because I am only the front desk agent. Anything with adjustments or any discounts or any it's of that goes through the manager. That you give for it is not. Hours from now. And because it's not within the breakfast time of six to nine during the week and seven to ten on the weekends, so I just want you to know that is part of our gift shop. With your manager, we were not going to be requesting refunds. We were not going to be making complaints. We were not going to be writing shit reviews for you. There's a whole list of consequences. We were going to leave you guys a tip. Okay, and okay. I and I and like and I said, none of that is happening now. There's a huge list of consequences. I'm going to like blow you out of the fucking water okay. for fifty cents of milk. Ma'am, I understand your frustration, but you can speak to the <laughs> manager in mean the morning. Anything about it. There's nothing I can do. You'll have to speak to the manager in the morning because there obviously there's a bigger issue that I cannot resolve because but I'm you not the manager. No. Ma'am, I am not the manager. I'm following the policy of the hotel. I've got a few questions about that one. Why are you leaving at four in the goddamn morning? That's like so damn early to be getting up and leaving a hotel at. Would you even be able to turn in your key for your hotel room at that point in time? Because I don't think that place would even be open proper. I understand six o'clock in the morning, you gotta beat some traffic. Fair enough, but four in the morning, what are you doing? And all of this argument over 50 cents. You're saying that these things are happening as well, but at the same time, staff members can't really do particularly much in most of these situations it literally does have to come directly from the manager because they have control of the place they will probably legitimately fire this employee if they did anything that wasn't in the policy guidelines in this next clip we have a Karen from the school board who's head over to some of the students house for some interestingly odd reason and decided to enter without their permission at least that's what we're assuming based upon the lack of context beforehand this clip's interesting though over here so she he can talk I'm to you glad. can time yeah. be Get out the house. Mm-mm. Well, this is like, well, oh, first of all, you're going to jail, bitch. Patty, it's Ma'am, your house. Sorry. You, like, have the right to, like, get her out. do whatever the fuck you want to. I mean, I don't I have just, to spell this out and glitter and glue for you. Stop. Stop. Here, Stop. Stop. Call 911. He's oh, going to call 911. Oh, we already called 911. Like, what do you mean? Hey! Get the fuck out of here. Are you fucking crazy? Are you fucking crazy? Now, me motherfucker. Or what? Give me the phone. Get out of the house and you get Twitter for out, 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 out of the house. Get out okay, of the house. Okay, call 911. You don't have the phone. Keep your 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 phone. Me no, chill, chill, chill. Chill. Don't touch me now. You're the only one that's hit anyone. You realize that? You're the only one that's hit anyone. No, I don't want to see her. Hey, that's what she wants. That's how you're going to jail. Look, she's touching you. Assault, assault, you're going to jail. Assault, you're going to jail. No, 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 no. Hey, my uncle's on the way. Everyone get inside. My dad is going to have a field day. Everyone get inside. Everyone get inside. She's obviously intoxicated. Don't touch her. 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 Don
Don't touch play. her. Everyone, not. please go inside. That's please, okay, just okay, please go inside. I will handle this. Just please go inside. Right, Aaron, you say, please... Is it just me, or did it feel like some hands were literally about to be thrown there? Like, there was one guy who was pretty level-headed for the majority of the thing, trying to defuse the entire situation. The Karen seemed to absolutely lose it. And then a few of the kids there also seemed to almost absolutely lo lose it. That clip was just something else, wasn't it? Now, in this first clip, we've got a vegan Karen going over to their neighbor that they're only going to be around for a week to complain about some smoke. Little do this vegan know that she's in for a very big surprise. Here it is, folks. The best down east barbecue. Hi. Hi, ma'am. Hi. I'm, I'm renting down the street for the week. We're here from Connecticut. Um, there's been a lot of chicken noises. It's been very loud. And <coughs> some smoke is kind of billowing into our our, our home. What, what, what are you cooking? Is this necessary? Yes, I'm cooking beef brisket. Beef. So this is meat? Yes. We are vegans. We can't have meat smoke coming into our... Now, we're going to speak to our landlord. Well, yeah, want to try some? No, I, that is murder. You are murderers. I, 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 I'm, I'm calling the authorities. Okay. I was told when I came okay. to Maine, Drive I wouldn't have to deal with Drive any of this. Off. And your dog is trying to attack me. Now, this next pair of Karens have recently picked themselves up a fridge. Well, they actually had one dropped off at their house and they realize that they can't lift it. So what's their approach to get help for this? Well, one of them chooses to lay underneath the car of the person who just dropped off the fridge and intends to stay there until they help them with the fridge. Look at this crazy shit, man. Like, like for real, bro. She want me to hit her. No, I just want you to put the refrigerator in the house. Now this Karen is not quite happy about the fact that their $5 coupon was denied because it doesn't work anymore and then completely loses her nuts when the employee starts recording her in this situation. Oh, please. Yes. Can you please just calm down? Stop, Matt, please. Yes. You know what? Please. You are not going to disrespect please. me. Please. Nobody disrespect please. me. I got your please. employee please. recording please. me. For what? Go ahead and record me. You came out. You don't even know what you're even talking about. You're this, right here. This lady's please. coming please. in. I'm trying to resolve. She's got oh, an yes. attitude. What are you trying to resolve yes, that you weren't here for? Can you please I'm just not going to have your employee recording me. I'm actually calling the police. Can you please just stop? No. Nope. I'm calling the police. You want to have your employee record me? Because you're being a little ridiculous. I was trying to Can resolve the situation and you just gave me an attitude straight off the bat. So. I don't even know who you are. Ghetto boy. You know what? Miss. I don't care. I asked Miss. for a manager. Okay. And that's all I asked for. Miss, how Ghetto old are you? boy. Okay. I think you're old enough to be. I promise you. Walk away. When the cops come, if you really call the cops, I like, call myself. I got it. Mm. I think you're right. like to call ourselves too. We're both tired of you. Okay. okay? All right. I didn't give I you an asked attitude, so. Manager, it's a number. It's all I asked for. I'm okay. Manager. The manager is right you here, bro. Can you go in the back? 15 years old. Okay. Okay, get out of here. Over what? A receipt? I asked for the manager's number. It's all I asked for. I was going to give it to you. I said, now I'm being recorded by a ghetto ass prick. Please go in the back. I will. Okay. Can we just. Can we talk outside? Not a this is my, it's actually my right, so I work here, so this is my That's right to record. Okay, I'm gonna I know my right, back, please. I got a no problem. Can we talk outside, please? No problem. Sorry, bro, we got a Karen here. I don't know what to say. Miss, I don't know what the problem is, but if it's over $3, this is a little ridiculous. So it's nothing to do with $3. Well, it's nothing to do with him. He wasn't even out here. I was trying to resolve the morning. situation, but... Resolve what? What are you trying to resolve? You're the one Who's talking to me crazy. I, I, I'm actually not even talking to you. you're trying to resolve, coming out here the way you are. Talking to me saying, fuck you, get out of here. I didn't even say you that didn't to you say that. at yes, all. You <laughs> really? I did? <laughs> it's crazy, yo. This next Karen obviously had something to be upset about about their order that they just got via the drive-thru. So they decided to hop out of their car and hold up the entire line by walking up to the drive-thru window and start complaining. person just behind her decides to start recording and calls her out for being a Karen. You're holding up the line there, Karen. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you fucking bitch, record me all you want to before I spit on you. Oh no, Karen! Is that saliva out your mouth there, Karen? I'm automatically a Karen because I walked up the No, line. Karen, you're holding up the line. I need my chicken and my McNuggets. Get out the line there, Karen. I need my chicken, my fries, and my drink. Get out the way there, Karen. Oh shit, stop that, Karen. I need my food to get more fatter, Karen. 
Watch out the way there, Karen. No, Karen, you're holding up the line there, Karen. Yeah, get out of here now, Karen. Thank you very much there for it on. For it on with those gun fingers there, Karen. All right, Karen. This next Karen fails to understand the basic concept that you can only use one coupon in this purchase, and instead insists on getting that free cookie with her coupon that she's already using a different coupon for in the current purchase, even though the person at the counter told her a very simple way to still use it by simply completing the current purchase, walking out, coming back in, and getting herself a cookie. Well, I can give you the number for a manager. That's about well, don't give me the cookies, but I'm gonna, I, okay, I can call there and tell them to make sure they give a cookie if it says free cookie in the coupon. You don't have to give it to you if you don't want to. It's just chocolate chip. Wow. It doesn't say a specific day or a specific time. Right, so, yeah, but it says one coupon per customer, right? Free cookie with that. He purchased oh, one chocolate chip. Yeah, so we can't give it to you with, with this purchase, but if you want to come back it's in. It's on the coupon. Okay, let's. Well, I'm sorry. Then I'm but like, do you know what? I will buy her cookie. Okay. 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 I was just trying to explain to you what it was, okay? okay? So, I didn't... can I have okay. a... Let her hand... Let me handle the cookie. What the hell's wrong with you? Come on, we got children here. That's alright, I'll take the sandwich. Thank you. No, you cannot take the sandwich. You didn't pay for it. Okay. Why are you sitting there then? Then let the cookie go. Go, go bring her. Charge me. I got a coupon for this, though. You okay. gotta take that one. Alright, guys, I'll do it in a moment. Alright. Um, let's see. Now in this next clip, this Kevin and Karen fail to get their tartar sauce with their order. Now instead of going up to the counter and acting like civilized human beings, they just start to start complaining to the person who they assume is a minimum wage worker and insulted them for it, and then started bragging about their hourly pay rate. Little did they know they were talking to the manager slash owner of the store that they're currently sitting in. Excuse me. Seven twelve. I order. We ordered That's right. two sides of the tartar sauce. Okay. Okay. What's what I said one. We on the ordered. Two sides of tartar sauce and chef of sauce, so I want the other side. Okay, you'll have to Let the grown it. man earn his minimum wage, Scott. Fuck the tartar sauce. I make more than I make. Say. Fuck you. Scott, how much do you make? How much do you make? Scott, I'm gonna have I make 45 bucks an hour. I'm gonna have you escort it from the store. Why don't you go fuck oh, yourself? Don't asshole. come back to my store. Yeah, fuck Your you. store! Don't come back to my store. Mr. Get out. Don't come, get out, white trash. Mr. Go, get out, white trash. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Get out, white trash. Now this next Karen decided to start recording these group of boys before apparently abusing her daughter. Now whenever she tries to get her daughter to call the cops and things along those lines, the daughter is clearly distraught at her mother's actions and claims that the kids did nothing wrong. And Mr. Little and everybody knows all your faces and what you do to my daughter and her friends. We have a lot of evidence. What do we do? What do we, what do, we do? She's going after my daughter right now. Call the fucking police. Oh, no. Call them now. No. Yo. Call them now. I want you to see my face and know what you do to my daughter. What do we do? No one You're abusing my daughter. What? How? How? Did I, did I, hey, hey. Ask, ask her. Ask her. She does. She tells me every day what these boys do to her. Do it. Uh, I don't know her. We well, don't live here. Six of you, and you're going after me right now. But I'm literally. Go away. Live here. Go away. But I've hung oh, out with her. Why would you walk away? Remember at Roxbury? Hey, let's walk away. Yo, let's walk away. Let's walk away. You're harassing me right now. No, no one's harassing me right now. You walk away. Now in this next clip, this Karen is clearly upset and distraught at these kids for quote unquote aggressively squealing their tires in the parking lot and now threatening to call 911 on them and eventually heads off to go do so. Yeah? Yeah! Alright. Uh, Are you high? No. We need to call the police? Because you're being very aggressive to me and to my kids. <laughs> We're not being We're being Do we have a problem? I, I will call 911 right now. Okay, let's go. Now this next Karen has either done something ridiculously annoying to someone else in this store or has called this for security slash police themselves and is having a bit of an argument with said security slash police officers about how ridiculous one of them are being. Don't come over here and get up in my face and try to get confrontational with me. Okay? We'll so why don't you here. turn around and go back where you came from? Oh, I'm right here. Well, I don't like you right here, and I didn't ask you to come over here. 
So is there anything else you needed? No. Then turn around and go about your I'm way. I'm not going to turn around and go away. Well, I guess I neither am I then. You want to have an argument? Yeah. We'll have an argument. Am I being ridiculous? No. no, I think you were being ridiculous, and now you're getting your ass called out. So now you want to keep going. You don't know when to shut the fuck up. I simply asked you if I had a problem with And I told you what my fucking problem was. You want to keep going? Because I can have a long list of fucking problems. Again, I told you where you can take it over. And I told you where you can fucking go. Have a nice day. You too. Now that Kevin in this clip seems to be having some issues with his backyard being flooded and seems to think that it's something to do with the neighbours, so he goes over there and figures this all out, but instead of treating him like a civilised human being and approaching the conversation quite nicely and civilised, he decides to raise his voice and start being a little bit of an ass out about it. My dad's neighbour said he flooded his backyard with the rain. Hey man, you have flooded my whole backyard. You have water coming out from up under the ground. I have videos of it. That thing's got to be fixed. That's on my side of the fence. You flooded the whole, my whole backyard is underwater right now. Well, I mean, I can't do nothing about I the understand, water. It, you know what I mean? The water's going to come The down. drainage is wrong because you have raised the dirt up above the fence. There was no problem before you did any of that. I don't know what's going on with that box or under the ground. I mean, it, it can't just stay like that. That was not a problem until you decided to bury that box. It, there was no problem. Okay. And then you have another drain over there oh, no, so dumping on. water. Bro, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not your child. I'm raise, not yelling. Well, don't, don't raise your voice. Well, you're flooding my backyard. Dude, it's fucking raining. This is an act of God, okay? Okay, so first <laughs> I'm going to go to the city. The city will... If you want to talk about it, we I can talk about, about it. it. Do me like a man like a and man. don't fucking raise your voice like I'm a child. I'm a grown fucking man. If you want to talk, we can talk like a man, like men. If you want to act like a child and go call the city, go call the fucking city. Okay. So now that you're saying that you're going to call the city, you better do everything you can to make sure that shit gets taken care of. Because I ain't going to, I ain't going to do a crappy ass thing about it. I was until you came at me the way you did it. Learn how to talk to people like men, motherfuckers. We are grown. In this first clip, we've got a Karen who's upset at the neighbors for cutting down their tree because it so happens to partly go into the Karen's yard. The Karen thinks it's hers. You just chop down branches hanging over into my yard. Yeah, you Get the out of my yard. Get out of my yard. Get out of my yard. I'm upset right here. Call the cops because I wanted to come laugh. She's quite clearly on one massive power trip, and she would have learnt not to do that if she was subscribed to Completely Stupid. Let's hope that you guys are too. <laughs> In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's upset about some facilities at this, I'm assuming is a pool slash local river spot. I'm not 100% sure on that part of it, because it's not familiar to me. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think this is. So y'all really need to provide handicapped parking, I think, by law. Y'all have to. Um, but y'all really need to provide handicapped parking. Well, we couldn't get into it. Well, y'all need to provide handicapped parking. Well, we couldn't get into it. It's locked up. I have to say, is that locked up? You said yes for divers only. That's what we were told. Oh, yeah. So, you know, y'all need to get y'all's act together because $16 for just, I didn't even get in the water to stay and the two little ones had to wait forever to get on the uh, diving that, because hordes of teenagers would come in and get jumped right in front of them and everything else. So, y'all need to control your place a little bit better here. But before someone else is stung, I mean, it had, being this remote out, if he was allergic to, to the things, he could be dying by now. Do y'all realize that? What a liability this is for you to stay? Well, do y'all's job, that's all I'm asking. Yes, ma'am. My husband worked for Parks and Recs in Panama City, Florida. I know what I'm talking about. I know the laws. Have a nice day. Yeah, I'll Of course. <laughs> In this next clip, we've got a drunk Karen who's eagerly upset that people are parking on a street waiting for the school bus. Somebody, a senior citizen might be concerned about somebody in start in front of her house. That might be funny to you. 
I, I live here. Care what anything is about you. <laughs> I live here. I do live well, here. You want to see my ID? Good. You want to see my ID? Will that make you feel better? No. Okay, well, I'm then not go on saying in. that about you. Shit. What is your problem? I don't have a problem. I, you're standing you at my door for what? You do have a problem. You're standing I'm at my door for what? You're taking you pictures of my car for what? When I came out and asked you, why are you parked here? Doesn't matter. I have I every here. right to say that. Mm. And you're photographing me to get on CNN. Good for you. I'm not putting you on CNN. Who watches that? Lady, you're drunk. Oh, can you please go? No, I can't. You're drunk as hell, man. Whilst I've had my own grievances with people parking in streets for school related reasons and parking in front of my driveway, uh, at least in this clip of this perspective we've got here, the Karen seems to come from across the road. So they're not in front of her driveway, and I assume that at least it makes sense that the driveways aren't exactly in the precise same spot, there's a slight alteration, so they're most likely not in front of the driveway on this side of the road either, so I don't get why this Karen has such a massive issue over it. Uh, actually, it makes sense. The title of the video, they're entitled. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who loses it over Lemonade Stand. All right, so and you're just letting this your woman has stolen here? my children's money no, from their Lemonade no, 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 Stand, no. which they were All running. I, was get them to stop I let my lemonade. kids do a Lemonade Stand today, yeah. and Is for whatever okay? reason, this woman okay came to up to them and stole the money that they've that made, other people are and they ran right in. Now? And People told me that this crazy today. lady, listen to me, a look crazy lady doing. stole my How kids. How do you call me crazy? Look, you at, what you're look at what you're doing. Be reasonable. You're, you're getting cups of lemonade. If you want to sell lemonade, sell it in a container. Don't just have open Why cups. would you steal look the kids' money? Hey, look at, look at what you're doing. You have oh, ice open here. They're just grabbing it with their hands. They're putting it in these cups. Is that reasonable? Stolen my phone now. No, no, no. I want you to understand stolen my what phone. you're doing here. Do you even live here? Is this? I haven't this seen you around before. House, and my kids come here frequently. I'm sure you've seen them no. if you live in the area. Do you live in the area? I do. I live right around the corner. Okay. What's your name? My name's Stacy. And what's your name? Look, Stacy. Oh, you've so you don't me. even want to share because you're you are actually concerned about what you're doing. You feel bad because you're just selling lemonade. An open my cup. Kids, and that's not acceptable. It's acceptable. It's no, fine. it's not. You've stolen their money. You're that's not even not, wearing a mask. Your kids weren't even wearing masks. I've been vaccinated. Are have you been vaccinated? I have been vaccinated. Have your kids been vaccinated? I would like you to Do put their money back. Do they go to school? I would like you to put their money back. Fine. You have stolen Fine. little children's money. I didn't steal their money. I got them to stop selling lemonade Stacey. in an open container out here. Do you know other people live around here? There's elderly people around here. I would like, Do you I would understand like how unsafe back. this is? Do they have hand sanitizer? Are they washing their hands? I don't think that your kids or you care at all about I think the that you're insane. Here. And I think that if you were to actually stop, I think you're probably a nice person. And if you were to stop no, and look at yourself, you only what you've done is stuff. a completely you're ridiculous not about thing. Anybody else here. I think what you've done is completely beyond the pale. No. You've come up to children no, no, and no. stolen their money. I told them that what they're doing is unacceptable and we don't want it's that. It's perfectly here in this fine. Community. Look, I'm obviously not gonna get We're anywhere talking really to you. I would like you to just leave. Safe. And what are you doing? I would like it if you Your just kids left. Aren't now. Even washing their I've, hands. I've heard what you've had to say and I'd like you to leave. I will leave. Will you pack up what you're doing? Absolutely. How not. do you go It's back completely home? fine. You don't even live here. <laughs> my, this is unacceptable. It's perfect. I'm my cousin lives here she watches the kids it's completely fine we're well within our rights yeah. to have the kids sell some lemonade yeah but they're doing it unsafely it's if not unsafe it safely, it's not a big you deal you need to have them wash their hands you need to have them okay, have okay. Them so call the health inspector they've made six dollars two of them from me good then hopefully okay good so i'd I've like you to leave early enough that they aren't spreading it to they're other they're just people. having fun okay it's not stop. a big deal no you need to it's leave not a big deal. you need to take so a deep breath leave. Don't need five dollars. You need to just leave. Then stop what you're doing here. It's, it's not okay. It's not a problem. It really isn't. Everything's fine. Okay. We're just selling some lemonade. Okay. I've made it very clear that we don't want this here. You need to pack up and leave. I want to know your full name again. Stacy. Okay, Stacy. So I want you to know that if you ever talk to my children again, I will call the cops. I don't want I'm you to ever come up to them or talk to them again. Children. They're going to come back out here. Stop, Stacy. Listen. I've heard what you had to say. I want you to listen to me for a sec. They're going to come back out here. They're going to keep having fun. No. And I don't want you to talk no. to them again. No. No, this no. is not your right. It's not Done. your. So I'm going to 
learn a few things about this clip. First off, I've got to give the guy props for keeping us cool this entire time throughout that entire conversation. And what I can guess based upon the fact that they're vaccinated is either very late 2020 or in 2021, so rules were a little bit lax, at least from my knowledge, remembrance of America. But I don't think that open containers, like, there's nothing wrong with that. I do feel like that they maybe should have had some hand sanitizer there, like, that does make sense just to do, regardless of anything. But other than that, I don't really see anything wrong with this. Like, what? <laughs> In this next clip, we've got a Karen at Starbucks who's clearly upset at something, so decides to start attempting to trash the store, but gives up pretty quickly. Hey. Hey. You seriously need to stop you. That's fucked up. Go. That's like the quickest way to guarantee that you'll probably get arrested because you're not just being an asshole, you're trashing someone's stuff that isn't even yours. In this first clip, we've got a Kevin who's completely losing his mind on the phone to the 911. Now Karen needs police no! immediately. F you! F you! Who the f do you think you are? Who the f do you think you are? Who the f no! I need cops here right now! Give me a cop! Give me f***ing cops here at Hennessy! Please, right now! So we're having a good day. Dana Point! Oh my god, this guy just made me come to the private man. So we're having a great day. I'm done now. Please, please, give me a cop. Lower, hey, give me a cop. Lower. I am done. Please give me a cop. Please give me a copy. Where's my card? You threw give it me, out of your hand. Give me my card. You grab it. I'm not touching. You! <laughs> grab it. Grab your card. What, man? Grab your card. You just. The, you're a weirdo. You're the one who grabbed the chicks out of hand. You grabbed the chicks out of hand, so. Whose ass did I grab? The server. Who's that? So, oh, bring card. her out here, man. Pick up the card. Follow Pick for the more card. dramatics. Please send a copy here. So what I can gather from the back end of that conversation is he apparently touched someone inappropriately, the server of the party that's supposedly going as we can hear by the music in the background. What an ass hat. In this next clip, we've got a Kevin who's absolutely fuming about this kid riding a skateboard on public pathways. Same racist male Karen came up to me for skating on the public sidewalk. Can I ask what you're doing here, sir? I'm skateboarding. Do you think it's okay to skateboard? Can you stop getting so here? close to me, please? Stop trespassing. Can you stop getting sir, so sir, close to me? Sir, stop backing up like a little fucking bitch here, sir. Because I just want to please. fucking talk to you here, sir. Do you think it's okay to fucking skateboard on private please property? Please don't get so close to me. Private property, sir? Don't do that shit over here, sir. It's fucking America here. You don't want to fucking fuck with me, sir. You don't even know who I am here, sir. You watch Mate, Fox News, sir? Do you stop. even vote, sir? Have you even been checking the Can internet, social stop media, sir? So close to get me. your ass back here, sir. Don't be fucking skateboarding on private ass property, motherfucker. Get your ass back. I could not believe when he tried to yoink the skateboard, he almost fell over. Like, I, I'm lightheaded from laughing at that one. <laughs> Anyhow, whilst I'm not 100% sure how it all gets ruled in America, at least over here in Australia, the pathways that are next to the road are considered council property. Your property or your private property only begins beyond the footpath or the letterbox of your property, no earlier. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's in an argument with another pair of people over something that I'm assuming is to do with a conspiracy of sorts. No, it's no, no, no. For you want to do them, we'll just go whatever. yell at people. I don't care. Right. We'll just go yell at people. I know you Why don't you care because just you're die. literally making I don't care. Oh. You're a millennial. Just die. Huh? Just die. Well, you'll die before me. That's the good news. Um, no, no, you will. Yeah. And your brain you know is going to atrophy Because you're a me. neuropsychologist who knows nothing about fucking neuroscience. But guess what? Guess what? And Dude. you're going to go around preaching misinformation. Guess what? I'm older than you, so I've had a longer life. Huh? You're, you're going to have a That's how that works. Life. And that's sad. Because we weren't exposed to this shit. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's effectively snitching on an eight-year-old child for selling water without a permit. <laughs> Men don't want to let a little girl sell some water. She calling the police on an eight-year-old little girl. You can hide all you want. The whole world gonna see you, boo. Yeah, and um, illegally selling water without a permit? Yeah. On my property. It's not your property. I mean, I guess it's technically could be classed as illegal, but who the hell cares? An eight-year-old selling water for like, what, a dime? Like, come on. <laughs> 
In this next clip, we've got a Kevin who's highly offended from the words on a shirt. You work here? Your supervisor outside here? I'm, I'm not offending you. You're offending everyone out here. Bullshit! You're saying fuck! This is my, my right! My children don't know that word! This is my right! My this children my don't right. know that it's word! It's called freedom of They're speech. five and six you years really old! You find that hard to believe My you children are five and six years old! You got a supervisor outside here? My parent, my, my in-laws okay. own it! My wife's in charge! Okay, Go in yeah. there and talk to her! Good. And don't wear that shirt in there. Absolutely. Go. Where? Show me. Go. Right. Show me right now. My children are five and six years old. Are your children here? Do you think that are I want them to see that shirt? Are your children here? Do you think that are I want them to see that shirt? Here, sir. That shirt I'm is offensive. That's a bad word. Miles. Oh, bad You're saying word. bad words in front of children. Is your children here? Are your children here? Please, let's go talk to your You're wife. people. Let's go talk to your wife right now. You got the boss. Does it make you feel like a big man? Go ahead! Keep on walking! I'm not here for the politics, but my personal opinion, why do you have to be so offended over a shirt that just says fuck Trump? Like, who cares? Move on with your life. In this next clip, we have a Karen whose order was done wrong, so instead of just politely asking for it to be corrected, has lost her nutter over it. You're fucking loud, you're being rude right now. Yeah, because they still don't fucking they I would have been gone, but she said to go, and he didn't get the order. Okay, right. you're spilling stuff everywhere now. You know what? How about I spill it on you? Do it. Excuse see what the fuck you. Happened. Do it. And see Please. what the fuck happens. No, I'm sorry. You announced it to everybody. You don't need to insult people. You were the one who decided. Your friend decided to leave in. You remember that? Uh, yeah, I do because she was standing up for people because he didn't do anything wrong. Because he didn't fucking do the job. Okay. You know what? I will pay for your food for you to get the fuck out. God. You don't need to talk to her like that either. Should I call the police? Like, I think that would be helpful. I think it's so fucking difficult to put the liquid into the container and they're fucking. Maybe you should get a hamburger next time. Hey, you should leave. Thank you. Bye. Of course, it isn't a Karen archetype without the racism. Oh my god. In this next clip, we've got an anti masker who claims to be a nurse harassing a pair of people in a store. So you're on a fool's errand. You're on a fool's errand. You're on a fool's errand. I know, but you're on a fool's errand. How is this helping you? It's not helping you at all. You're just <coughs> you're So the, it goes in around the mask and in your and into your mouth. And when it goes in, see look, look watch me blowing you. You just breathe it in. What an idiot. You're on a fool's errand. So it doesn't help her at all. And she believes all this bullshit that the government teaches her. Yes, she believes all the bullshit that the government teaches her. But not only she believes, we question the government, but she believes all the bullshit. Can you stop harassing her? Like, you don't have anything better to do. No, I don't have anything better to do. Turn your thumb too. Turn your thumb too. I don't need to. I want to talk to your teaching. Why do you think Obviously, you're talking to strangers about nothing you know about. Mind your fucking business. I'm a nurse. Not a good one. Nothing. Gotta love that sly comment at the end. Not a good one. My god. <laughs> In this next clip, we've got a Walmart manager who's racially profiling someone as stealing without even bothering to go further into it. Get off! Get off of my property! It's not your get property. It's Walmart property. You cannot. No, he's well, freaking. Hey, man, the buzzer thing yeah, get off. Off. This hey, off. This is my property. Get off of me. I know. Get off of my property. No, I'm not on your property. This is my property. property. The cart is not your property. Get off of my shit. Yeah. I know. I want to see your receipt. Yeah. No, get off of me. I want to see your receipt. Get off of me. I don't have to show you shit. You, you accusing me of stealing? 
I'm, look, I'm, you're ask, I'm asking for your receipt. No one's accusing I, you of anything. Then I don't have to prove. If you're not accusing me of stealing, then you can't. Yeah. Yes, I can. You can't hold me here. I can see your receipt. You do, you can ask for my receipt. No, sir. I don't. Have, you're right. Do you, I don't have to hold you here. No, no. I don't have to. That's that's you're the right. problem. You're right. I don't have to hold you here. But I no. can keep the pro the merchant. I can you're, see you're, your receipt. Huh? I it does. Yeah, he can ask, but he can't hold me here. Okay, look, here's my receipt. Thank you. That's all I want to say. And I'm gonna sue the shit out of you. you do I'm gonna that. sue the shit out of him, so it's all you good. You do that. You talk to your congressman. They, I didn't call sign a contract. Okay, call so your get lawyer, off my congressman. Get off now, as an Australian, this one's a little bit more peculiar to me because here with tech stores, whenever you buy any form of electronics, you usually have to go buy a security guard who will stamp your receipt to say, hey, you did buy this and you have walked out of the store with said item. Now, that's not a norm with supermarkets here, but we also don't have too much tech related items at a supermarket. And even when we do, it gets stolen a lot. And now furthermore on that, I don't get the whole thing of I don't want to show you my receipt even though that could probably solve this solution easier. Is it just socially different there? Like that's not a social norm where she's like, hey, here's my receipt. Here's the proof I brought this. Okay, cool. Bye bye. Like, I don't know. But one thing that's definitely clear at least is this manager seems to uh, racially profiled people for stealing because of their color. So, not cool. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who thinks she's king of the campsite. <laughs> In this next clip, we have a Karen who decides to cut in line because she wanted to go first because apparently having a child, only to fall asleep in the line a little bit later. We're at Krispy Kreme's and this mom, she's a mom. Oh, look at her, look at her, we got a Karen. So this woman cut off all these people. She's back there now. <laughs> Look at the line, look at the line of the cars. You have a child in your car! Why are you acting like that? What's going on? No, no. She told us that there's a kid in the car. Is she asleep? Yeah, she's She cut the whole line and then we like, we were, and then she like freaked out and then... Wait, she cut the line? Yeah. She so cut the line the so we kind of like so said like that's rude line. that you cut the line. She's yeah, like, she I have a kid in the car, don't be like that. I tried, I tried to wake her up. That's drugs, fool. Yeah, that's that scary. Part. And if there's that's a scary. kid in that car, that's okay. I check. So she, she that was her only excuse. <laughs> that's a wild. Hey. <laughs> she was like, it. I have a kid in the car. Don't be like that. And then flip this off. Yeah. Oh. Well, like the police just showed up. The police just showed up. Should I go back one? Was she okay? Um. Yeah. She was just high. Really high. Passed out. She like smoked. Or like some other drug. Other, other. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she was doing hard. She must have had the munchies. <laughs> In this next clip, we have a Kevin who tries to pick a fight with a stranger, all because he lost all of his money gambling. 
That's how my kid's college fund. You have no idea. You started shit with strangers. Get the fuck no, he out started of here. it with me. Get the fuck out. You want to bring it? Bring it. Let's bring no it. No one's bringing nothing. Then why are you talking to me? Because you got a problem with people that. So I've got a problem line. with you fucking interrupting no. and shit. You don't let's know what the go. fuck you're talking about. Sounds like let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. What's that? You're making our line take longer. I'm going out of your line, dude. Uh, whatever. Where the fucking hell you fucking dork ass motherfucker? There you go. Bring it. Bring it. Just swing. Bring it. Swing. Yeah. Swing. You probably got swing. four lawyers, swing. bro. Right. More than four. Swing it. More Just than swing. four. Oh, boy. Swing. You're in a fucking line talking shit. Yeah, so are you. Take your $20 ticket up there, dude. There you go. Right there. Right there. In this next clip, we have the aftermath of the winning team celebrating a little bit too hard in the Caribbean upset for it. Manager, I'm gonna call the superintendent. That's all. I have never seen kids with such lack of manners and rudeness in my entire life, ever. So make sure you're filming for safety, just in case. And so I know that there's both sides of the story. Because your principal was here. And this was disgusting. Okay, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't say anything. I don't know why you get mad at me. I, I'm not saying anything about anyone. And all you had to do was enjoy that. Not insult the players, not insult the parents. Just enjoy the win. This is disgusting. And and your superintendent is going to be notified. And whether they don't do anything, they don't do anything. Sounds good. You know what? You know what? In this first clip, we've got a Karen who is casually standing in front of a car park, refusing to let anyone in to come get that car park until their friend comes along. Karens come in all shapes we, and we forms. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. We are here. This is a parking spot. You are in front of the parking spot. So call them. Call 911. See what the police officer said. Call them, please. Call them. Call them. Because we were here. You trying to hold a parking spot. You gotta love that. Her friend pulls up and she decides, you know what, this is not worth it. Just gonna go hop in the car and allow us off to drive off. Just just make sure to let the person recording you know exactly how, which car you're getting into, you know? <laughs> in this next clip, we've got a Karen who's going first class. Passengers. <laughs> you're not, you're not a first class person. Don't use it down, please. Yeah, it's not even playing now. I'm using my phone to, to bloody film you because you've been pathetic. Me pathetic? Yeah. You're being abusive. How am I being abusive? You're giving me lip. You're not. I'm listening. not giving you lip. You're in first class and you're abusive. Who are you? My school teacher. By playing that loud music to disturb everyone. Your kind does not fit into first class. It's what, not what, is that, here. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? You need to show some respect. What if, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show respect. Look, I said Stop I'm sorry. Stop giving me all that lip. I've I'm told you that before. <laughs> listen, listen, Bob, I'm sorry. Turn down that music. But the, the, the music's not even playing. Well, it might not be playing now, but it was playing earlier. Yeah, and very like, disturbing. Yeah, and like I said, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, love. I'm sincerely sorry. I'm sincerely sorry for playing music in, in in your first class air, breathing in your first class air. I am sorry, look, all right? That's, that's all I can do. Don't be so facetious. I don't even know Just what that means. Quiet. Well, there you are. <laughs> don't even know what it means. 
Well, yeah. Well, no. Well, well yeah. No, I went to well, school. Yeah, well, no. Well, no, no. I went to school. Uh, I went to college. <laughs> Where did you go to? Play Hogwarts. I don't need to explain anything to you in your thought. <laughs> I don't need to explain anything to you. Just keep that music down. All right. Sorry. <laughs> You gotta love, despite how much the guy tried to troll her, she kinda kept her cool. She was responding, but she kept cool that entire time. In this next clip, we've got a Karen at Starbucks who's having a pretty bad day. I didn't ask. I, you know what? I don't care. Well, I'm sorry. Boy, mate, only us Australians can say that word without consequence. Calm down. <laughs> in this next clip, we've got a Karen trying to explain to the cops why she's in the right and everyone else is in the wrong, and then she does com something completely stupid. The time of Karen wanted to try me and my sister. You're dumping in the dumpster that doesn't belong to you. She's backing up. She backed because into the bridge because she was out. yelling at me. And so, he, well, here's where I am. I did, I wasn't, it wasn't that I wouldn't let her out. I'm way back here. <laughs> She really had the nerves to slap my phone out of my hand right in front of the cop. No, I did not. Stop fucking lying. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. She couldn't resist it, could she? It's just like one of those Karen instincts. You've got to slap that phone out of their hands when you have the opportunity to, regardless of if you do it in front of a cop or not. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's losing her mind over her Macca's meal. Wait, hold on a moment. That's the Australian word. McDonald's meal. Angry Karen wants her meal. You know, it's probably one of the best things they've ever put in any form of retail store, those big fuck-off plastic screens everywhere. Like, they're so annoying to deal with half the time, especially when they first came into practice. But my god, they save so many certain issues. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who has no idea how to mind their own business and has a need to criticize the clothing that these trio of girls are wearing. Pause for the streets again! Do it again! Do you think you're funny? I do. Well, you set up for the streets. You just keep laughing because I'm not laughing. I feel sorry for you. you I'm a little so, girl like Joey. Like you're mad at what we're wearing. The fuck? You should dress appropriate. Those are bras. Look, <laughs> we look better than you. Excuse me. Excuse I'm you. I'm I'd be like your mom telling you that you should. You think you're not my mom, like, bitch? Like, That's good. You're you not her mom, funny? though. I do but think I'm. I'm gonna act like one because you girls need it. You don't walk around okay. town in a bra. Okay, okay like, like bitch. I just slutty. Why you want to? Why you want to be in our business? We didn't bother you. Why you gotta bother us? You literally were we walking. You were sitting in your car. Put a shirt on. Put a shirt on and act right. Okay. Go put a shirt on now and act right. No. Come on. Yes, I have three little girls that are growing up looking at you. Okay, they can look at us. Yeah, you can look at us. Are you talking to us? 
Shut up! Go home! Why are you even here? Thank you. Wait, did she just do that the entire shopping trip just continues to begrade those girls in the other area? It's like, why? What was the point of that? It's so worth, not worth your time. In this next clip, we have a Karen walking through the drive-thru. She's got back into a car that was in the line. She I honestly don't get it. Why not just walk inside? It's not going to take any more time and effort than you're already going to spend by parking your car somewhere to walk over to the drive through thing and spend a bit there to actually get someone to pay attention to you. Like, why? In this next scene, we've got an interesting fight between a pair of people happening. Well, She's a Karen. I'm she a told Karen, me to move. So go ahead. She told me to move out of her way. So she could put her car when I'm sitting there putting a quarter in. Standing there You're for five minutes looking for a quarter. So I said, can I please return my car? Don't tell me to shut up. You know in Arabic, you know we have it? Oh, good for you. The, oh, let me quote you. This is America. We speak English. Put semis. Yes, sir. Okay, we speak English. Put semis. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Mr. Rick, I'm not going to say I'm You started off with saying I'm rich. So good for you! That's why you're shopping by yourself and not your butler? I'm sorry. No, you should see what he said. Angry, angry people. I have no idea how this all started. It seems like the lady decided to be a touch racist at the end there, but here we are. In this next clip, a Karen decided to cut the line, and when she was refused service due to her cutting the line, this happened. Have a good day, miss. Give me your name. Have a good day, miss. Your boss's number. You cannot do that. Have a good day, miss. You cannot do that. Have a good day. You cannot. I can report you to the Better Business Bureau. Are you aware of that? Report me. Do you realize I'm a CPA? I have a lot more reign than you think I have. Do it then. You're not gonna give me your name. No. For no reason. No, because when you asked me, you weren't being nice, and I'm not. I wasn't. When was I ever being rude to you? I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you, miss. I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you. Have a good day. Tell me one thing I haven't said that wasn't There's nice. no point in having this I conversation. I still have not curse or raise my voice, nothing. Miss, I'm asking you're you very clearly this. agitated. Now that you're not giving me your name, yes. Why? Nor for your what? boss's number. Is that really a reason to get agitated at someone because they won't give yes, you their name? Yes, it is because I'm asking you for your boss's number then and you're not giving it to yeah, me. Yeah, I can't give up my boss's personal cell okay, phone Okay, then you number. need to give me your name or a way to reach him. No, Email I don't. Email or a way that he, I don't. he's in here. Yes, you I do don't. have to. Yes, you want to look up the law? Look Gotta love these hard people. I need your name. It is a must have. It's in the law. You have to give me a, a way to contact your manager. It's so stupid. <laughs> in this next clip, we've got a car and trying to get a car park by just standing in front of another car. Reason? Could we just hit them, please? Like Christ. In this first clip, we've got a Karen high out of her mind and was needing a ride. That rhymed. <laughs> Crack had Karen gone wild. Part two. Excuse me, sir. Oh, please. Can you please help me? Oh, please you want, help me. Please help me. Please give me a ride. Oh. Ma'am, I, I, I'm, I'm not giving out rides today. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I'm please. sorry, babe. Please. I'm sorry, babe. Man, fuck you. Yes. Oh. Man, just spit on my car. Fuck you. Fuck me? Because yes. <laughs> I wouldn't give her a ride. <laughs> That bitch crazy. That bitch just spit on my car because I wouldn't give her a ride. Wow. Wow. That bitch crazy. It's always interesting watching people who are high out of their mind just exist in the world because nine times out of ten they're doing something completely stupid and makes no sense whatsoever. In this next clip, we have a Karen who believes she's superior to the truck in front of her.
Now I know what a few of you may be thinking, why didn't the truck just do another loop around and let this person go? Well, there's a possibility that the truck may have already done a loop beforehand. And from what's visible, at least in my personal opinion, it looks like half the road's been covered in a construction site that's currently happening, making the road a little bit more thinner than what it probably would be normally. Unfortunately, this is just what's going to occur when you're driving behind a truck inside of a city. They will have to pull off to perform their delivery at some point, and they may unfortunately inconvenience you. In this next clip, we have a Kevin just being a continuous Continuous annoyance to his neighbor. What you doing? You're sneaking up the wood over here. You're cutting it up and then no, no. putting it up in the car. I can do whatever I want. I'm allowed to cut wood. No, you're not. You sure? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I, 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 I already talked to the village. You can call Patrick. You can call anybody you want, but I'm allowed to cut wood. I have a big giant truckload coming in a half hour. I'm going to fill up the whole fucking yard. Man, this guy's one funny guy. I honestly want to see half the interactions he's had with this guy over the past 10 years because clearly, if this one's kind of funny as it is, there's obviously been a few more interactions like this over the past 10 years. In this next clip, we've got an anti-mask Karen trying to get into a store that she's been refused access to because she's not wearing a mask. There is no one in the store. There's me in the store. There's you. So you stand 7,000 feet away from me. Ma'am, I'm just trying okay. and to I, do and my I'm job. Here, and I'm trying to make sure that I have rights. So you're going to hear that they're actually going, you'll, you'll make sure to hear that in the end, you're the one who will be cited, not me. Okay, fine. So, yep, I'll just stand right here because I'm here. I've driven 20 minutes out. I'll drive 20 minutes back just for my babies who are hungry. Yeah, as per the 1964 Civil Rights Act, I cannot be discriminated against. Um, I do have a right to be able to breathe O2, not CO2, and I am being discriminated against right now at a store. So, what, what are, are you calling to report something? Oh, uh, yes, that I am not being allowed into the store because I'm being discriminated against. Because you would not like to wear a mask. Being discriminated against. In what store are you at? Um, it's called Bones and Scones and I'm being discriminated against because I'm being told I need to wear a mask. Ah, oh, why the clip in there? What is this? I kind of wanted to see this interaction through. I cannot believe that she immediately went for the discrimination stuff because she wasn't allowed to go in because of not having a mask. I'm sorry, but because they're a private business, they also have the right to refuse people from coming in. Again, though, if it was due to discrimination, they could get in trouble for that, but because it's you're not wearing a mask, that's not discrimination now, is it, sweetheart? In this next clip, we've got a Karen being just an overall nuisance to retail workers. I am. I am. So get back for me. I'm not in your office. Don't underestimate me. Can I get tag made for my dog, please? Stay away from me. I'm going to say thank you. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. Do you see this? Do you see it? I'm just trying to get Put a mask on. Put a mask on. Put a mask on. I have asthma. There's a pandemic. I have asthma. Put a mask on. Oh or my, get out of the store. That's oh their God. rules. I'm getting kicked out? Yeah. This is all recorded. <laughs> Great. I'm getting kicked out. If this Karen is true from what she's saying and she does has asthma, then there's obvious that's fair to not have a mask. Depending on the severity of asthma, having a mask is genuinely not a good idea in a lot of cases. The more problematic side of this though is the fact that she was pushing her way into the office of the employees, which you're not allowed to go in there unless you're an employee. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who freaks out whilst in the courtroom. I feel so attacked right now. I don't know what to do. Somebody oh. please send help. Somebody get this ham sandwich out of my court. Yeah, that clip's just... <laughs> This next clip is kind of interesting because I personally feel like that prior to recording this, the person currently recording this antagonized the worker with some form of something that pissed the worker off. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Good. Good. Oh. 
Stop oh. recording me, bitch. Now get the fuck out my drive through oh. Wow. Yeah, record that, bitch. Record that, bitch. I am. What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? <laughs> Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can so I guess the more interesting thing is here is what's your personal opinion on this one? I personally see it as they're both in the wrong. I understand that for the worker's sake, she probably did get antagonized to become this pissed off, but as a retail worker, it's kind of one of those things that you've got to learn to keep your cool on. And trust me, I understand it. I'm a retail worker myself. I deal with a lot of dumb people. You just got to learn how to just keep yourself in control and not go off like that. In this next clip, we seem to have a pair of Karens having an absolute barking match. <laughs> Off. Did one of them just pull out a flipping taser in the middle of all that and they still continue going on? And secondly, there's clearly someone more in the wrong than the other, but considering the lack of context, I'm just going to call both of them Karens because they're just going off at each other for some reason. In this next clip, we got a follow up from an earlier clip. Let the officer know that I'm leaving and that. And you don't want us to come out then? I don't want you to come out because all I really want is for you to support me, for me to be able to purchase a few items. Okay, but I don't have control over them not letting you in at this point from the phone. And I am not able to tell them they can't close. So oh, you're going, are you going live too? Huh? I'm just recording. You're recording me? That's fine. You are no. welcome to do your research to find it in the end. You want to wait no, I'm actually right. I don't right. care. Um, no, that's fine because I am here to be purchasing items. I'm not here to be speaking with an officer who knows that in the end okay, I'm so the one who has the right. Ma'am, yes, you hear them. You hear me. I'm just doing my job. Can you step outside? Yeah. Uh huh. And um, could you make sure that this gentleman gives me his name as well, ma'am? Just through the phone. Can you at least help me to get his name? If I could have your name too, because you're my name's Aiden. You ought to love the smug smile on her face. My God. <laughs> In this next clip, we got a Kevin and a Karen seemingly losing their mind. You think you can take this property and do what you want with it? I'll take your property and do what I want with it. You won't. That's not. You how can't touch work. a minor. Yeah. Yeah, Are the rules fucking with your head, charges, bro? Dude. Oh, you're fucking such a bunch of pussies! Bro, what a generation of pussies! Are the steroids you're fucking with your brain? You're a bunch of pussies! Yeah, oh, give me your skateboard! Give me your skateboard! I want to do whatever I want with it because That's, I can just do what I want with other people's thing. property! This is not the same thing! It is the same thing! It is! This is why you're fucking the dumbest generation of fucking morons I've ever fucking skateboarded! Ride your skateboard! Ooh. Oh, oh, oh! What are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? He just kissed me, bro. What are you gonna do? Are you, are you touching me over there? Yeah. Oh, he's. And I'm serious. Stop. Stop. What are you gonna do? You go. Don't you touch me. Go. Don't you go now. No. Yes. This My is mom's right there. Her. This entire interaction is just hilarious. <laughs> but as always, I'm kind of curious in what actually happened beforehand to start all the shenanigans. But either way, in this first clip, we've got a Karen who is overreacting slash feeling entitled about a dog or something in a situation. I have no idea about the context on this one. I've just seen this clip and it's very interesting still. Folks do any fucking thing they want to do. And I'm so mad right now. That's not cool at all. She see him doing it too. The way she see him doing it ain't yep. so 
for your baby. Yes. So now since I said something, she comes over to me. She tell me she having a busy night. I don't want to be out So that means so. I got to get kicked out. So you tell me you're kicking me out? Asking, no, I'm So you're telling me you're kicking me out because I said something about the dog. Yeah, so there's nobody out here. Take care. Look at the tables. Did I ever say I was kicking you out? No. Who the fuck is you I'm not kicking you out. Don't not fucking holler at me. Can you is that thing? Okay, I'm going to get my manager and we are going to have to ask you to leave. So we're going to have to escort you out. Yes. I'm sorry. Did you hear that? I hope you know who I am. I hope you are here. You don't have to be here because it's a job to you. But your people will hear. Okay, we're going to have to ask you to leave because this is getting out of control. It's definitely getting out of control. Y'all got a fucking dog out of a cup. Okay, that was not in our but so, control. But so now you tell me because I said something, I had to leave. I just spent $200. You tell me I got to leave? Yes, because First of all, I'm waiting for my lift. My lift is right there. Okay. I already was waiting for my lift. But you're not being polite, leaving. so like we're not going to have to leave. You can't say something to me. No, I asked you to listen and you just kept talking. So yeah, I said we could not ask you to leave, but now yes. we are. Get away first. No. I love how this Karen wasn't going to get kicked out initially, but because of her continuous reaction to this entire situation, not just hearing out the worker at all, they just ended up kicking her anyway. In this clip here, we've got a Karen picking up an online order from Walmart. We're seeing what seems to be the aftermath of whatever situation occurred. While at Walmart grocery pickup, Karen on the prowl. You're welcome. Mind your own fucking business. You won't be ordering from Walmart pickup no more. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, I'm the right person to say that to. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy picking up your meals from now on. Very rude. Your name is Hector, right? Unfortunately, we lack the context of what actually happened before this recording began, but considering that the attitude of the lady herself, as well as what the manager is saying, who are well, the person who claims to be the manager, obviously something did happen. In this next clip, we have an older Karen losing her mind at a pharmacy. This is another one where we lack a lot of context to the entire situation. I honestly have a funny feeling that this little person may potentially be having a medical episode that is causing this utmost anger, screaming and all that, considering how she is breathing between her yelling rants. But again, that's just speculation. In this next clip, we've got an aftermath of a situation that has this person exceedingly angry. Thank you copyrighted music, I'm gonna to have to mute a lot of that, but what actually happened with that one? I'm legitimately curious on what happened before this. In this next clip, we have a Karen holding up people at the fuel station in order to get one fuel pump for herself coming in from the wrong direction. Been blocking us, telling us we came from the wrong side when there's a literally a line in the back right there. And then she came from that side. And she said that's a, that's a right line, not the back side when there's two way. So, like... Hold on, baby, and my kid's over here crying, she's blocking. Uh, can you go, ma'am? Because uh, my kid's crying in the back. My kid's crying in the back. I know you can hear me. You love making a scene, huh, Karen? Miss <laughs> Karen, 
everyone's staring at you, Miss Karen. My kid's crying in the back. If you could just move aside, that'd be great. You know, I hate these type of people. They're, they're just literally the words is like, oh, whoop, I'm gonna go first. I don't give a damn if you, I wasn't waiting in line. I've got to go first. In this next clip, we've got a Karen parking in a Tesla only car park with her Hyundai. Karen oh, parks please. in Tesla Take only this. parking spot. better to do with your time because this is what your your generation does you go on grinder and do hookups you show every part of your body you have no self-respect oh my goodness none whatsoever okay, okay. Let's just... no 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 okay. to mind their own business he he comes and tries to tell me what i can do he's my okay. business right? so, oh well i'm sorry i can't see i can't see mm -hmm. I love how she just goes on this unrelated rant about this entire thing about how the new generation absolutely suck for this, this, and this, and has no relation to the current situation. In this next clip, we've got a Karen calling the cops over a bad haircut. <laughs> Look at this lady wasting my day. Wait for a bad right for here. a bad haircut for a bad haircut that I that I gave her that I gave her son that he asked for. You Look at her wasting my day. Look at this whack job. Bone has Bob. Bone has Bob. Whack job. Whack yes. job. Can you tell him to get away from Not, my face? No, I won't. No, I won't. I Look at her. Well. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Man, I gotta know, how bad was that haircut actually? This next clip's kind of interesting because there is no context to what actually happened beforehand, so going off of this clip alone, we just have to assume that the Karen's recording themselves being a public nuisance. Hi ma'am, how are you? Good, how are you? Are you filming? Um, who are you first? Who are you first? No, no, no. Ha, who are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're in my building. Who are you? I'm in your building. This is the town of Orange Town's building? This is yours? This is the town of Orange Town's building. I work here. Oh, okay. This is not your building. You don't own it, right? I'm sorry, are you filming here? Do you, you don't own the building. The people own the building, ma'am. This is a public building. And Respectfully. you need to have, do you have a permit to film here? Do I have a permit? Yeah. I do not have a permit, no. Okay, so in order to form it, film in this building, you need a permit. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, who who are you? Yeah, really. Who are you? So I know who I spoke with? I want to know how come you think you don't need a permit. Is your name on your shirt? I can't really see. You work for the Please supervisor's shut office. Down because you're not allowed to film here without a permit. Ma'am, why are you hey, becoming yes, so hostile? How, how you doing, sir? Officer Caleb, Orange County Police Department. How you doing? What's going on today? Nothing, just filming. Nothing. He doesn't have a permit. I don't. I don't need a permit. I'm going to ask you to leave. I'd like I like that shut off. This so is. I don't want exits this way. You can turn it off, or I can take it from you. Don't touch me. If, leave, if you leave. are you ordering me to leave? I'm ordering you to leave. So you, I want that okay. filming whatever's on Turn it off. Shut off. I Don't want I'm walking off. out. Turn it off. Um, this is not against the law. This is a constitutionally protected activity. Turn it I'm off. trying to. You're trying Turn I'm off the phone. I am trying to walk past you to Turn leave. Off the phone. I want to make it clear I'm trying to walk past you to leave because you're obviously you're gonna need some complaints. Turn off the Don't phone. touch my phone. Turn it off. 
Don't I have a body camera on too. Don't touch my phone. Turn what are you off. guys doing? Yeah, this is know. against the law. Give me your license. This is against the law. License. This is against the law, sir. On your ID. This is a, what crime have I committed? You know, I got a question. What was the point of that entire recording? You, you, there was literally nothing that happened aside from you just being an ass. In this clip, we have an interesting situation unfolding whilst a person's leaving Walmart. I asked you to receive for electronics. Michelle, can I get you up at the GM door? Okay, but didn't I tell you you can ask the guys in the back if I hadn't I made the purchase? Anybody, didn't I present you? Didn't I present you a receipt? Just now. What's your name? My name is Tammy. And you work here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you see the receipt? Are you nope. going to continue to stop me? Every time you put, try to go out the door with an electronics, I will. Okay, yes, I, and I told you I had a receipt. receipt. So what's the deal? We are supposed to see the receipt. Okay, well, are you detaining me? No, sir. I asked you okay, to see a receipt. Do you see it? Yes, I see it. Can you I now. leave? Thank you. Can I'm also curious what you guys think is in the wrong for this one because I'm not entirely sure which side to be on here mainly because I believe that if you fail to show your receipt when you're leaving with electronics and they've gotten up you for that then it's kind of your fault that you're in the current situation that you are in. As we can see at the end of the clip the person sees the receipt says yep okay I've seen your receipt and then the clip ends there so we don't know what exactly happens afterwards either. And after a bit of searching I ended up finding the other clips so uh, enjoy the follow up. When is Walmart going to learn? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I, I told you I had a receipt. I presented a receipt. Okay, and I'm going to tell her that you're stopping me for nothing. Come on. Thank you. Where, is she still coming? Oh, yeah, she's coming. Okay. I'll talk to your boss. I came here to purchase a goddamn TV. Is the manager here? Yes, I am. This lady, she has been very okay. uncooperative, very rude, disrespectful to me, so I come out. I'm, I, I just came here to get some TVs. She asked me if I had a receipt. She said, do you have a receipt? I said, yes, I had a receipt. I said, here's my receipt. And then I proceeded to leave, and then she tries to stop me from leaving the store. You know, after watching that clip, I feel like I'm a little less confused, but also more confused because what happens at the end of this clip? Does she just, does the manager just say, okay, fair enough, off you go? What, what, what even happened here? <laughs> I'm still a little lost. In this first clip, we've got a Karen who's complaining about the lack of cheese in her meal, and this other person decides to start recording them and decides to poke the bear just a wee bit. Is that all for you? 20 minutes. No, it's 20 minutes and she's taking that. What are you taking? It's fucking, yeah. Oh, no, get away. More cheese. More cheese. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Who the fuck no, does that? Like oh, no, get out of here. She's going to get me. <laughs> Give her more cheese! Well, so yes, this, uh, he made a complete and utter fool of himself by getting involved in the way he did. It makes for a pretty brilliantly funny clip. <laughs> in this next clip, we've got an anti-mask Karen who's come up to a bunch of cashiers who are working with mask on, decides to start recording them and bullying them. So in response, another customer decides to record the Karen being a Karen. I'm in Target by Columbus Circle, and this idiot is bullying the cashiers because she doesn't want to wear a mask, and she's streaming on Instagram. And they love drama, so let's give them drama. Let's give them drama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please. Oh, my God, do it again. I love that. I'm obsessed with that. So what's your name? Well, if you're strong in your convictions, just say your name. Okay, sweet. Isn't really willing to give her more like airtime. Like she's just another idiot. Um, like we've all seen them. But the best part is that when she started getting huffy, I saw her earphones like fall like out of her bag or whatever, like off to the side. And at first I was like gonna get her attention and then I saw what she was doing. So while she was like on her little tirade and standing up for her rights or whatever, I um, just picked them up and I just took them. And so this bitch will not have any music um, and we'll have to buy new headphones. Signed, a fact. You know what? Didn't see that coming. Whilst I don't condone stealing in any way, shape or form, the Karen kind of deserved it. I mean, if your stuff's falling out of your bag when you're losing your, 
shite at against a bunch of people who honestly don't deserve it, well then, uh, deserved. <laughs> but don't worry, in a follow-up clip he does return them. Hi, I'm, uh, I'd like to submit these stupid ear pods, uh, to the Lost and Found. Yeah. Oh, you're the best. I'm sorry you guys put up with that. I wanted to return this stupid idiot's uh, headphones. I'll take them. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys put up with that. We appreciate the video. Ah, thanks guys. Now in this next clip, we've got a pretty irate customer over a simple drink who's absolutely losing his marbles over the fact that this drink was made by someone. I'm assuming it's not tasting exactly how he wanted it or it wasn't made precisely to his specifications, but he kind of loses it a little bit. You have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the fucking person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't me. We don't know me. who made it, so... You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't know. Fucking Easy. stupid, fucking ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the fucking Bye. Man. Okay, you can you call understand? corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Do you understand? You understand? Fuck you understand? You understand? You understand? Fuck you understand? Fuck you understand? No, I don't care. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Where are these <laughs> I'm calling the police. The Kevin was later arrested. I don't get it. If you know you're being recorded, why the hell would you do something completely stupid like throw crap at the workers, then go off at them like an absolute child, and then even attempt to get into the staff room's area in order to do what? What were you going to do? You're going for the telephones, what you're trying to claim? My god, what an absolute dumbass. In this next clip, we have a Kevin who got pulled over for having their phone in their hand whilst driving. It's not quite happy about that fact. How you doing, sir? The reason I'm stopping Judge you... Judge Williams. Judge, I don't... What, why did you stop me? You had your cell phone in your hand. I had my phone like this. Yeah. I just lost it. I was just okay. looking for it. Pulled it up like this. Was okay. not on it. I just looked in the... Call, go up and look. Okay, why are you screaming at me? Sir, I you wasn't doing anything. Insurance? You have your license registration proof insurance? I wasn't doing anything okay. wrong. You have your license registration I'm not going to give you my license registration. You I wasn't doing something wrong. You cannot have a handheld. I had my phone just like this. I was that not is, on my phone. And what state was it in? You cannot have a handheld cell phone. And you all aren't ever on yours, right? You're never on yours. I drive okay. by a lot of times, and you all are on yours. You're never on yours, right? Okay, I don't understand. You're why never on at. yours. Why are you yelling at me, sir? I said you're never on yours. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not. I'm not yelling at you. Yes, you have been. I've never raised my Let voice. Let me tell you to something. You. you all are on yours. I was not. If you read the code, the code says that if we're conducting official business, you can be on it. I just don't know why you're no, yelling no. at me. No, not on official business. Okay. Here. Thank you, sir. I, what, what's, why are you uh, so uptight? Huh? Go ahead and give me a ticket. What's Go going ahead. on? Give me a ticket. Why are you so shaky? What's going on? I'm irritated because you pulled me over. For no reason. You had your cell phone in your hand. I picked up my cell phone because I had it lost. Okay. I pulled it up here and I was had my hand on it here. Okay. To put it in here. You That's know the what law. You, saw. Though. you know the law. So what? What if I have a cup in my hand? You, you can't have a cell phone and say it was being in your hand. Just give me a ticket. I don't write me a ticket. I just don't understand why you. Go give me a ticket. Write me a ticket. And I'll take it up to the town office and I'll go to trial. But give me a ticket. Go ahead. It's ridiculous what you're doing. How ridiculous. is it ridiculous? It's ridiculous. That you had your cell phone because in your hand. You, you all have yours. I've seen it many times. You all have yours, and you don't get pulled over. And it, tell me, don't tell me it's on official business. I hear your cases every day in court. Okay, what's that Go mean? Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket. I'm, I'm really don't... irritated about this whole... Go ahead and give me a ticket. But why are you being like this to me? I've never done nothing to you in my whole life. You just pulled me over for no because reason. Because you had your cell phone in your hand. Pulled me over for no reason. Give you had your cell phone. Okay. Uh, you can write me a ticket or not. I don't care. I'll take it up to town. We'll go to a trial, buddy. That's fine with me. And I tell you what, 
The next time I see any of you on the phone, I'm stopping right there and call the state police. Any of you. Okay. This is how I had my phone. I reached down, I got it under my seat. I pulled it up here and I was driving like this. I was not talking on it. You can look. You can look when you pull me over. See whether I was on my phone. Why are you being like this? I'm being it because I've seen this crap enough. And I'm tired Here's of it. Here you go. Here's your license and registration privilege insurance. Give it to me. Let me have my license now. Also, you need to go get your license up to date because they're expired, okay? A very interesting clip, that one for sure. I would personally, if I was a police officer, just be done with it, grab the ticket and be done with it instead of trying to get some more information out of this guy because clearly he's a bit upset, irritated, all these other things. He's just going to cause you issues if you try to press anything. Now, in this next clip, we've got a Karen who was being pretty racist to a person, and when this person goes to confront them as they're trying to leave the store, the store employee gets involved, and rather than helping out and trying to deal with the Karen first, that he decides to go on about the fact that she's recording this incident. Karen tells the woman to go back to her country and steal her items, and the employee refused to help unless she deleted the video she was. Recording. I need to apologize now. I need to apologize. Okay. Both are mine. I gave her one. She said, go back to your country. She said, this is how it works. She needs to take one from me. Because that's her country, not my country. No, I said, go back to where that is the way it works. <laughs> Everyone around you heard did, you. Did Go I, back did to I not offer to That's help you, you with said. loading it? Prior. I said thank you, right? I said no okay. need. I'm waiting for my dad to help me. Okay, real quick, are you videotaping this right now? Yes, I need to. Can you delete the video, please? No, no, no. Ma'am. No. I will refuse both if you don't delete the video. This is hey, this is what you did to me, and I have the right to tape it. I didn't do anything to you. She's doing something bad to me. Right. She is However, doing something I'm bad to, to me. Uh, this for you. Call the police. If the police ask me to delete it, I will. Otherwise, I cannot. However, I'm trying to resolve this for you. I'm asking you nicely to delete the video that I you're I will keep the taking. videotape until the police said nothing, I have to delete it. There's okay? nothing that you need the video for? There's no crime yes, being I committed? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. She is being very racist. Told me to go back to your country. This is not supposed to... What are you supposed to do to me? Okay? I have the right to protect myself. What if she does something bad to me? I need to videotape it. Okay. Is, okay. Is your well-being or life being threatened while you're in the store? Oh, so what she did, yes. Yeah, she was like, go back to your country. And she was told it? the people like that, hey, it's not right to be you're, racist. You're and I have the full right to protect myself, take the video, just in case she does something bad to me. Gotcha. Okay? She has not. She has not yet. Doesn't mean she will not. She wasn't coming back that direction. She took my stuff from my hand. It looks like someone and might have grabbed the other one. Yeah, that's my dad. Okay, I'm just making sure. I was waiting for him to help me right. to load it. But She took my stuff. Can I ask you a question? I need to call the police. Are you, are you hurt? Are you injured? My heart hurts. Your heart hurts? Yes, because she said go back to your country. It's, not, it's nothing to you because you're white. It's your own country, right? And she said, go back to your own country. If we're, if we're make this She's not taking this from me. I'm okay this, with her taking it. If we're making it, this about a bigger issue towards me, not, I'm not going towards to refuse you. this from you. Not towards you. I'm asking you politely to delete the video. No. Unless I'm the, sorry, um, I cannot help you at this point. Hey, unless the, doc, unless the policeman tell me to do so, okay? Your life is not being threatened. <laughs> you say it's, so. You say so. At what so. point was she threatening? She needs to apologize to me. Don't make it like a little deal. It's, it's a racist a thing. Deal. It's not but, a little thing. However, you're making a much bigger thing with your phone out right now than yeah. it needs to be. Hey, I'm recording it to keep the evidence, okay? Of what? Just in case she does something bad. What is she going to do? Who knows? I didn't know I she was going to be racist. I don't know what you're going to do either, man. I didn't know she's going to be. I, I, maybe I post online. I don't know. <laughs> to let people see it. To let people see this people in the country. You need to find someone to talk to me, to have her apologize to me. She's not taking her stuff her on my hand. So, if I delete, delete the, but you need to delete why? the video. Tell me, tell me the because reason you why. You can't be recording in here, ma'am. Where? Where says the that? The store. Where, where says that? Give me, give me the rules. Let me see it. Let me read it. So, and it's my to own me, phone. It like I'm telling being... you, 
you're being combative, you're being hostile. So right now you are the threatening one in this situation. Threatening so I need you one of the situation by what? I was not threatened by her. However, you did walk down the aisle towards us, starting yelling at her again. So to me right now Yelling you, at her. I so, said she needs to apologize so to right me. Now, I did not yell at her. So right now, ma'am, you're the one that's being threatening to everyone else. Hold on. Hold on. Can we call you're the not going to tell me to hold on, ma'am. Hey. You're being the one threatening to everyone else walking down the aisle. Recording. What did I do? I don't know what you're going to do yet. I need to apologize from her. I need to I record need to it to make sure to I have the well. evidence. Why would I need to apologize to you? You're, oh, you're, you're, you are assuming that she's going to do something. However, you're also assuming that it's not a big deal to me. And that hurts my okay, heart. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, that part, that's, that's not if okay. I said so something I wrong, I'm sorry. Video, oh, you're not asking me to delete the video yet. No, I'm Until, asking you to delete the video. No, this, why? I'm keeping the right evidence. This is what, me, what we're supposed to do when we face the issues like this. By, and you just don't delete the videos like that. By del recording this entire thing, you're making the situation much bigger than it because needs to be. And we could have handled it without that. How? After she apologized to me, I can. Okay? After I'm we get to delete it first, and then I can make that arrangement. Sorry. I, I have no point to do it in right now. Because you can just walk away, say, oh, I'm nothing happened. You, you can just walk away, say, nothing happened. To be reasonable happened. and delete that, and I can make that work. But you're not being really reasonable. You're being combative right now. How about we call the police, have the police come over here, and let him tell me what to do? What are they going to charge somebody with? She's being racist. That's, I mean, it sucks as much to, as it sucks. She needs to the law. apologize to me. But it, you also, sucks, you also assume sucks. things of my, myself that I don't what particularly did I, care you, for. Yeah, well, but I'm not going to call sorry. the police for that. I said I'm sorry. If I assume that I you didn't that care this is big enough, that, which, I'm sorry. It's unfortunate, but I was I've asking seen you again news, to please delete the video. I've seen enough news people doing that to Asian people, okay? This is not right. Uh, this is kind of going in circles at the moment. I just want to apologize. And I said I could talk to her, but and you I'm not to deleting the video, the video unless the policeman the tells me to do. I get that your store may have a no recording policy, but wouldn't you want to resolve the first issue and then move on to the whole fact that she was recording the entire incident? Wouldn't you rather deal with the Karen who was apparently being racist first, figure out that situation, then defuse the other thing? If you're going to claim that, oh, I want to defuse the situation, but I, I want you to stop recording first, it, it just seems so stupid. I, I get it, you may not be allowed to record in your store, but at the same time, deal with that situation first, then come back to the whole recording ordeal. I'm pretty sure the person would be far more willing to just remove the video if you, I don't know, comply and just help her deal with the first thing first. Anyway, in this next clip, we've got a Karen who's a bit annoyed because the flight's been delayed. So instead of sitting there and waiting like everyone else would, she's walked up to the pilot's door and is knocking on the door. And everyone decides to record her. Karen, on a delayed flight, tries to knock on the pilot's door. I just love the whole thing of like, oh yeah, but I've worked in an airlines company before, you know, this is fine. It's like, why? You would also know at the same time that flights get delayed pretty often and you're just better off sitting there and waiting for it to get going again if no one knows the actual answer to that. Like, come on, what a waste of time. In this first clip, we've got a racist Kevin at Starbucks. Fuck up. Come in. You hear me? I'd like a spoon, please. I just he just caught her a nigga, bitch. 
Bro, I've never, ever, ever witnessed nothing like this. Excuse me, ma'am. You're the one that we're helping you. Here's your coffee, sir. Have you guys been here? No, you guys didn't Mm-mm. She um was trying to find out what was in the pink drink. This is just one of those clips that just make me exceedingly disappointed in people. Like, why? What was the entire point of just being like that at all? In this next clip, we've got a Karen seemingly going on a goddamn tirade against this person at the register. So I got two thoughts with that one. First off, the everything that that camera was attempting to say was kind of funny just to watch her attempt to say it. Like, suck my dick! Like, what? But at the same time, I really do, I really, really feel bad for the person behind the counter. Like, holy crap. That that kind of thing ain't fun in any form of anything. Like, I don't know how she was able to stand there just screaming her lungs out for so long without anyone in the crowd just stepping in going, all right, get out of here, lady. Next up, we've got a Karen who got caught doing something very illegal and has a very interesting way of trying to get out of trouble. Okay. What's your freedom? Ma'am, put your feet in so we can close the doors. Okay. I'm just gonna close the door. You stay right there before we move. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Back up. Back up. Back up. Hold on. Hey, get a good a few. Get your foot back get in there. Get your foot back in there. Yourself. Get your foot back yourself. in there. Ma'am. Ma'am, we're gonna have to tase you. You're not gonna like that. I don't understand what you're telling me. Get your feet back in there. Bro. We're gonna have to uh, secure her in a different in a different vehicle. Yeah. She definitely got tased at the end of that clip. Now, there's no way she got away with all that shenanigans without getting tased. Like the reason why the clip cut off was probably because she got tased. 
<laughs> okay. In the next clip, we've got a Karen from Subway trying to take us back to elementary. Hey, Karen, do you want to stop making fun of people's uh, knowledge on things? I'm not making things? fun of people. I don't care if you videotape me. Okay, you probably well, can't to. count either. I can count. I think being rude isn't going to help with anything for Karen. I, I gave her the extra money because okay. I didn't want all that change back. Okay. And I still don't want the change back. Well, just relax, Karen. Just relax, Karen. Everything's going to be okay. My not Karen. Well, you're acting like one. Have a good day, Karen. <laughs> Being rude isn't going to help with anything, sweetheart. I'm not your sweetheart, trust me. <laughs> I like your pants. I suppose it may be too much for the Karen to understand that some people may just simply struggle in certain aspects of knowledge just because that's just how they are. There's not much they can do about that. But yeah, nice pants. <laughs> in this next clip, we've got an older Karen who doesn't like the fact that there are people getting married across the road in that nice little area. So she decides to uh, mow her lawn conveniently at the same time they're getting married. My god, the look on her face says it all. She knew exactly what she was doing there. What an absolute ass hat. So in this next clip, we put a Karen who finally got to speak to the manager. Oh my god, it's a miracle, isn't it? Are you the manager here? Go away. Are you the manager here? Yeah, I am the manager What's here. your name? Fuck you? Yeah. Can you spell it for me? Can you go away? May I please have your name? Can you go away? May I please have your name? Who the fuck are you? May Why I are you harassing us? Why are you harassing us? I'm not us? harassing you. You're the one with the phone on my face. Yeah, because you're harassing me. I'm literally asking your computer. name. I'm just asking your name. You won't get my I'm name. I'm just asking your name. I'm just asking your name. Thank you. So what's your name? May I please have your name? May I please have your name? Why can't I have your name? May I please 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 have your name? He's not giving me his name. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Mm. He said his name is Fuck You. Mm. Okay. 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 I think we're done here. No, I'm still waiting for his name. We May I please be, have your name? We might, hear, we might be here a while. Also, saying hello to someone is not considered harassment. This, what you're doing right now is also harassment. That's why I'm filming it. You're more than welcome to. I'm literally just asking your name. Yeah, and I don't want to give it to you and you keep harassing me. May I please have your name? No, you cannot. May I please have your name? You see, that's harassment. Well, that's and the that's same. why I'm filming it. And that is the and same that's thing. that's why I told my employees to do when you're harassing them. I'm honestly really curious on what actually happened before this and led to this point. Like, what's the context of this entire situation? Because what I see from this clip, yes, it's annoying to have this person acting like a child about getting your name, but at the same time, what's happened? In this next clip, we've got a Karen making tidal waves. <laughs> okay. No more fish. Yep, yeah, no more fish. Yeah, someone scared them away. It's a little unacceptable, but we'll leave. I mean, that's one way to approach a situation without using your words first. Just jump in and make a big splash to scare away any fish that could be in the area. Now, we had a Karen earlier who was pretending to be possessed by a demon, but this next Karen really sounds like she's possessed by a demon by how upset she is about this heavy machinery. But I will call the cops Why? because I cannot deal with this noise. Move the fucking truck somewhere else. The neighbor, oh, send the email. The neighbor sent an email doing the work today. Yeah, he said that you'd be working. He didn't say that you'd be parking a piece of heavy machinery in front of my house. Where can I park? Oh. Fucking move! Fucking you just said, okay. Move! If you do not move, I will call the police. I've got Do you understand? 
I got permission from email. This is my house. I live here. Move it up to his place. Yeah, but it's blocking the point. I don't give a shit. Move it. Now, look, look, we can't move it. We can't look, move. I will call the cops. Call him, call, call him. him. Don't no, worry. I've got email. You're a fucking asshole. I can't believe you have allowed them to park a heavy piece of machinery yeah. in front of my house. All right, yeah. fine, fine. Do what you like. Yeah. Do what you like. I'm assuming one of those clips came from when the police officer was there and told her that they've got permission to do that and she just was so upset over it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now this next Karen drastically stuffed up her parking, couldn't park within the lines, but instead of accepting that she did that wrong, she decided to redirect the blame on the jeep that's parked perfectly normal right next to her. Come on, my daughter has to get in! We won't move his car! I my daughter has to get in! Move it! You parked it too fucking close! You, you... Yeah, you, 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 you heard you, me. Do you, when you open that door, you she do this a lot? Car. Is she okay? No, she's fine. The car is parked too close to her car. Do you see your tire? You Let's see get serious. Let's see get serious. You see the line that you separates these? Tire. Now, come over here. Come over here. Come on. This is just for fun. This is just for fun. No, come here. Look. Just for fun. Look. And then look at this. Look, your tire is right on that white line. You need to stay within the lines. But look, look, I'm perfectly between the lines. Look, oh, I'm actually hugging this side a little too much. I'll take a picture. Yeah. I love how she's taking photos of this because I'm assuming she's going to take it to the police and accidentally dob herself in because she's parked worse than he did. My goodness me. <laughs> In this first clip, we've got a lazy slash entitled Karen who will not let the delivery driver leave their house after dropping off some new appliances for them, expecting that the delivery driver will help them move stuff around when it comes to getting these new appliances installed. Yeah, so I definitely have to leave. No, I got kidnapped no. today. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> I plumber, definitely have to leave. The plumber is on his way. You wait. No. I'm sorry, but... Because, first of all, window of opportunity for delivery is 8 to 5. It's gotcha. not even 8 o'clock yet. Okay, yeah. So, you're waiting for that 15 minutes that you were here early. I got... Be, okay, no. listen, I have 15 deliveries today, 220 miles. You'll just have to call those and reschedule with I them. I have not. There's nothing I can do about it. You are I, staying. I'm not in charge here. Unload, I have, I have the superiors. I have superiors I have to listen unload to. Unload the appliances. Okay. Because you're going to leave those anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I can unload them and leave them here. And you're going to be stacking them. Yes. Okay. I can see. Yeah, I can stack them real quick. So we'll take and get it all, you know, get it all put up and we'll get it in that room. The plumber is on his way. He's got to cut two little pipes, cap them, and he'll be out. Yeah, I understand your concern here and whatnot, and you want this done, but that's You not... guys can't give me a okay, window well, of time. Listen, no, this You're is You're early. Thing. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not okay. calling and rescheduling. I've been, I've been I have very, had to take time been... off from work. Okay, I have been I working that. with the store I understand multiple that. times. I understand that. You are not going. Okay, I, that is, I understand that, but you cannot tell me that I'm not leaving your house. My boss informed me to leave your house, so that's just what I have to do. It's Get nothing personal. It's nothing personal. I don't have to have him on the phone. You're not going anywhere. Okay, well, I'm going to leave your house. No. Okay, and at this point, you've already put me in a threatened situation where I don't feel comfortable. I so... work for the police department, Okay, honey. that's fine, honey. You can't lock me in your house. You guys so are early. Okay. It is not even Thank time you. yet for you Thank to take you. and be here. You need to step out of my way. No. Okay, I'm telling you I'm going to call the police. Call 911. Okay, so if you don't move, I'm going to force my way out of your home. Call 911. Okay. I'm ultimately really curious in what happened post this recording, whether he just forced his way out or whether he actually had to call the cops in order to get it or what actually ended up happening, but I suppose we'll never know. Now this next clip is a little bit of an older one that's recently resurfaced, but we've got a tourist who's over in America that, well, uh... Seems to be a bit of a Karen because the drink that she's drinking is not as sweet as she would like to be and just claims it is expired when it's really not. It's expired. That's why it's not sweet and spired. It's not expired. Wait, is it expired? It's not sweet. I tasted it. Don't it look expires it March 20th, 2014. I don't care. It doesn't taste sweet. It's not sweet. I'm sorry. We can't help you. There's no refunds. And what is it even? All is about money in America, about money. I want another juice. It's not sweet. Give me, give me a fresh, a sweet juice. 
That's fresh. We just it's got not. It's not sweet. I don't know what to tell you. It's fine. How do you know it's fine? Did you taste it? No. It, then I just said it's not sweet. Why put the expired juice on the show? What do you get it's not it's expired. Not expired. It is expired. I don't believe these numbers. I don't believe these numbers. I don't you believe can it. call the company and complain to them, but we're not replacing it. What company? Go to hell. What company? You fed fed so company. Okay, you can leave now. Take your juice and go. Why should I take my juice? Give me sweet juice. No. I take my money. Why steal my money? All these fucking thieves in this, in this town. Okay, go. Leave. We call the cops. We call the cops. Okay. We call the cops. I'm not scared of you. You can escape with the cops. It's not sweet. Cop it. Only fucking cunt. All right, you can go. Please leave. I'm not going. Give me sweet juice. No, leave. Yes. Ferris, bitch. Don't stare at me. I hate fat uh, big men. Okay, All of you fine. pigs. Cop it. Don't stare at me. If, if you stare at me, you have to be cute. I hate fat big men and I hate Mexican. All of you fucking cunt. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> All right, leave. <laughs> what should I leave? Bye bye. Bye bye. I think she may or may not have realized that she made a complete and utter fool of herself in that entire situation, or she hasn't, I don't know, it's not my need to know. In this next clip, we've got a Karen that seems extremely delusional, believing that she's not only the owner of the internet, but also the owner of Apple, and decides to cause an intervention with this pair of people here. I I don't get it, this is just funny, really. Music, can we, can we start again? What'd you say, sorry? I'm the creator of the internet and Apple computers. You're the creator of the internet? Yep, and Apple computers. You've oh, stuck wow. me out of life for the last 20 years and exploded but me from the internet. We have. This is or an intervention. Just, or just like, inter everyone? Or just like people. Or are is you, it for are us? you referring, like, did we shout you out or just like society? I know this is an intervention. Okay. I don't worry about my so train ticket, for fuck's sake. So, oh, that's the train ticket. Oh, we got to read that, oh, do we? That was a whole little form Actually, that we you could know what? Out. On the 10th of October this year, the internet ceases forever. Ever? Okay? Forever. So how am I supposed to upgrade my Snapchat? Are you being sarcastic? No, I don't. What am I supposed to? I rely on social media. I rely on the internet. Well, well you, you, should have treated the tr you should have treated me, who created it, correctly. I'm destitute. You've stolen everything and you won't even let me on level one, two or three. Oh. So because you excluded should me and because you're three? on an intervention, the internet stops on the 10th of October this Adam forever. Okay? Okay. okay. Damn, Thank you, man. Fuck, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> man, the internet's gonna stop on the 10th of October. You better enjoy all the videos on Karen's as you can, because, my God, after the 10th, it's all gone. It's all over. In this next clip, we're witnessing what is going to be the aftermath of an initial Karen incident. This Karen's turned around to realize that, oh crap, she's been recorded this entire time, and her reaction is beautiful. I don't know why. There are these little nice I'm getting so high with this. <laughs> I mean, really? I just don't, I don't know why people have to be protected. You know what? <laughs> don't, don't touch me. Yeah, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Fine. <laughs> it's a joke. You're a sheep. You you to wake up. So it is discriminating. Discrimination, my god, what a Karen. Now this next clip is probably from peak COVID. We've got a Karen and a Kevin hopping into a store with found a mask, just doing their shenanigans and are complaining about the fact that they're being told to go out and out in their car for their food to come to them because they've entered the store without a mask or any form of things for COVID reasons. Which makes it more ironic that the Karens were recording themselves in the act. You don't have to follow I'm not trying to argue with you right now. I just need to follow you. We're going to place the order already. We've got to place an order already. Amanda is not a law. What's Amanda is not a law. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. We have a mandate in the county, which means that we are not allowed to. It's not a law. It's not a law. Segregation was legal. Jim Crow law was legal. The Holocaust was legal. Where do you guys take a step? I don't understand. I'm irritated. I'm annoyed. Okay, I'm because not refusing your service. Okay, but you're telling you me to stand in the, in the call like I'm not human. You said you were going to eat in your car. I'm sure you're going to eat I know, you're going to place the order already, but then you, you got to go. And then we just want to walk out. What's the yeah. difference? What's the difference? We're already inside. We already infected everyone. The difference is that the we longer infected you're everyone. in the store, the faster you're infecting really? people. So According to her, what? If you could just what? leave the store. You're wearing a dirty mask, synthetic fibers on your face. 
Oh. Oh no, Curtis, yeah. you cannot order like a normal no, human yeah, being. Yeah, yeah. Right? Huh? Holy cow, holy cow. Wow, wow. Let's follow, let's follow the orders. Just like the, just like the, just following the orders like the. I'm 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 just following the she didn't say to go outside in the car. You have the menu so that you can order from outside. I'm not going to give you my money if you tell me to go outside. It's inhumane. It's inhumane. Listen, when you go sleep at night, okay, I hope you guys think about the whole A nine day is not a law. You need to stand up for what's right. No, no, no. You need to know that because I lost my job because I didn't comply with nine days. Okay? Okay? I hope you think about it because it's going to continue to escalate and then they're going to come for you. What are you going to do? What are yeah. you going to do when they start coming back here? What are you going to do when they start coming back here? You should be ashamed of yourself. This is a Jewish establishment. You should be ashamed of yourself. A kosher. This is not kosher. This place is not kosher. You might as well eat bacon. You might as well eat some bacon and cheeseburger. This is not a kosher place. It's not a kosher place. It's not a kosher place. Bye, Josh. My god, they wouldn't shut up, would they? <laughs> Just take your stuff outside. We get it. You're anti-vax. Who cares? Go away. Now, in the next clip, we've got a Karen who is extremely overreacting for someone parking on their street. Now, granted, we got to give the benefit of the doubt here. We have no idea where they precisely parked or whether they may have accidentally parked on the driveway or not the Karens. Despite that lack of knowledge, this reaction is still way out of proportion. Karen of the day. The Don't park in fucking... Good! Tell him to stop parking in front of my fucking property! And that goddamn shit too! Park right in front of my fucking driveway! Go fuck yourselves! Nobody parked in front of your driveway. I'm not a fucking ma'am! Whoever you are. Fuck you. This is the same thing you're doing. You're on my fucking property.